In our lifetime, procrastination is a struggle that everyone faces from time to time. Are there times when you know you should be doing something but you fail to accomplish it? Then you goof around until the last minute when all the adversity and frustration force you to complete, or in a worst case scenario, you don't do anything at all. We could never beat procrastination until we become better than it. There are going to be delays in finishing work or because the job is poor quality work. It's almost impossible to fully relax when you procrastinate since you are aware that there is something you should be working on in the back of your head. You may even feel like a loser when you have been procrastinating for long, and that feeling will slowly chip away at your self-image. As a result of this, your productivity will suffer and it could affect your creativity and earning potential. Hey everybody, welcome to Life Mastery Hack. In this video, we are going over 10 things you can do to stop procrastination. But before we get into it, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss more videos like this. Now let's get started. Number 1. Break your work into little steps. One of the reasons we often procrastinate is because we subconsciously think that work is overwhelming. Breaking your work into small steps and focusing on each step at a time can be really helpful. If you find yourself still procrastinating, make those steps even smaller. Eventually, your task will become so small that you can do it without breaking a sweat. For instance, if you're trying to write a book by yourself, you might feel that there is too much work involved and that the whole process is overwhelming. However, you can break it down into smaller steps, like doing the topic research, selecting a topic that you want to write about, writing an outline, structuring the content, and more and more. You can break it down into as many steps as you wish. All of a sudden, it seems a lot less intimidating. The key approach in these situations is to put all your focus into one task and try to ignore the next task as much as possible. And when you're done with one task, simply go to the next one and use the same approach. Don't forget to reward yourself. The feeling of accomplishment that comes from finishing each step can be the reward itself and it will motivate you to do more tasks. However, it can be more helpful to reward yourself a little extra. Meaning, when you do this, you can motivate yourself by attaching a reward to each of your small steps, such as providing a bigger prize when you achieve several tasks. Enjoy yourself when you complete your tasks by doing whatever you would like to do, like watching Netflix, spending time with your friends, going on camping, etc. While the task itself may seem overwhelming, the reward on the other side will motivate you. Number 2. Minimize Distractions your productivity will suffer and you will procrastinate more when you allow your distractions to happen. There is a possibility that you've gotten so used to distractions by experiencing a lot of them that you automatically look for them throughout the day. By identifying your main distractions, you can limit them to maximize your productivity. If you are constantly being called or texted by your friends or family members during the day, set a time for completing tasks and put it in airplane mode in the meantime. Create a morning routine that takes care of your small tasks since it's less distractive in the morning in general. Number 3. Start with the most important tasks first. It is very common for people to check their emails first thing in the morning, and that can lead to getting stuck on social media or internet surfing. And soon you begin to lose your valuable time that could have been used to spend time with family or just in private, and you eliminate the opportunity to be productive. If you start the day with non-productive, draining, or meaningless activity, it can stress your mind and take away your motivation for the rest of the day. Sip a glass of water and take some time to think about your intentions and priorities during your first hour when you wake up in the morning. Take a moment to think about something you look forward to. Prepare your day by exercising and planning your day. Identify the most urgent tasks to complete, and then do the most important ones first. The simple act of checking off tasks on your list, especially the one that's been nagging you for a while, can give you a great deal of momentum. We get a boost from completing important tasks because doing so releases chemicals that will make your body feel good. You will gain more motivation and strength and be better able to handle stress by practicing this. Number 4. Borrow motivation. Motivation can be drawn from other people in a variety of ways. The fastest way to boost your energy is by reading stories that inspire you, listening to inspirational podcasts that boost your mood, and watching motivational videos on YouTube. You can spark and build your motivation by doing so. Imagine yourself in their shoes, imagining everything they had to deal with to reach their goals. When you understand this, you will be able to see your problems from a different perspective, and it will lead you to find the ways to solve them and motivate you to take action. Keeping in mind the power of hope and seeking to understand the perspective of those you admire will lead you forward. 
Learning by gaining your knowledge from their challenges, perspectives, and experiences, you will be more confident to achieve your goal. Number 5. Take a break. It's also important to take a break from your work every once in a while to avoid procrastination. Try to take around a 15-minute break and listen to music, sing some songs, or take a walk. Whatever it is that helps you to relax and get your mind refreshed. Studies show that taking a break can enhance your focus, lower your stress level, and improve your memory. Number 6. Make someone accountable for your actions. When your commitment is only to yourself, it's more likely to be easy to ignore things. By making yourself accountable to a friend, shame and guilt become strong motivators. This kind of pressure has a positive effect. If you have a partner watching over your progress, you may be more inclined to do the work. For example, when you plan a morning run with your friend, you are more likely to show up for a run. Motivating yourself with the fear of disappointing someone is the powerful way to go. Share your plans with a friend or family member. You can ask them to remind you if you aren't doing what you said you were going to do. Believe it or not, this is a very powerful way to pressure yourself. In a good way. Number 7. Set deadlines for your work. It can be very unproductive to work without setting a time limit, like I will write a 1000 word blog post in an hour, mainly because you won't know when you've completed the task and it will make you anxious and stressed when you feel like you are behind schedule. If you want to increase your efficiency, divide your work into equal chunks and reward yourself after finishing each task. You can play a video game for 30 minutes, for instance. Try not to take on more than you can handle. Rather, approach your work with a realistic perspective. Otherwise, don't focus too much on the time aspect. Number 8. Don't set the bar too high. Procrastination comes when we feel overwhelmed by a project that seems huge for us that makes us feel like we won't be able to finish it. Putting the bar too high makes it seem too large. It will be much easier to complete the same work if you break it into smaller parts. As humans, we see our problems as something outside of ourselves, which often become the first mistake we make. Our expectations of ourselves are often too high even before we have even taken any actions. Putting too much hope may lead to procrastination because if we don't get any results, the work will become difficult to complete. Never compare your efforts to anyone or anything because it'll discourage you. Don't set too high of an expectation, but always push yourself to achieve greater results. It is always your decision to set your own values and standards, so make sure to choose the best for you and for your circumstance. Number 9. Change the environment around you. Changing your working environment can also improve your mindset and productivity. Do you feel unmotivated at your work desk? Your workplace might need to change if this is the case. We often hear that to succeed in life, you need to surround yourself with successful people or at least the people who are more successful than you and if you hang out with four smokers, then you're more likely to become the fifth. It is because we humans are very affected by whatever or whoever surrounds us. Getting used to a new environment that motivates you will eventually drain its power over time. That being said, if you want to avoid procrastination, changing the surroundings of your workplace can really help when you feel unmotivated. Even though you have the right mindset, it can easily drain your ability to succeed if you are always in the negative environment. Number 10. Organize your tasks by writing them down. It can be very easy to break your habit of procrastination when you write down your tasks. Passing your work to do later is most likely never finished or even touched. If you write your goals or tasks and put it somewhere you will see, then it will remind you to push forward when you are procrastinating. This method will help you to break the habit of procrastinating every day. In order to achieve the best results with this method, it is necessary to write those things that will add value to yourself and which will also help you become a better version of yourself. Alright, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the subscribe button. Now check out this video of how to get out of your comfort zone in 12 steps and we'll see you in the next video.